What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren, and today we have some huge news when it comes to the X-Men in the MCU. And today we are specifically talking about the new X-Men team and characters that are going to be coming to the MCU. Not some of the older X-Men like Wolverine, Cyclops, Storm, etc. The ones coming from the Fox universe into the MCU due to incursions. We are not talking about those X-Men. We're also not talking about any variants that we might see during the multiverse saga either, but the actual new X-Men team and the official new X-Men movie. We have some brand new reports about the new X-Men movie in the MCU today, including when to expect it to be released in the MCU. And we'll go over what exactly this release date means and how it all fits in the overall story that's going to happen in the multiverse saga. So let's dive into these new reports, but if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all the latest Marvel news. So according to a recent report, Marvel Studios is developing their live action action X-Men film and they're reportedly going to begin production on it in quarter four of 2025. This is according to a new report from Production Weekly. Now, first and foremost, we know that Marvel Studios is developing their X-Men film. In fact, it's been confirmed already that Marvel Studios has been meeting with potential writers for the movie. They are trying to lock down their writers to see who has kind of the best ideas, some interesting and good thoughts on which way to take the X-Men. Now, ultimately, of course, it comes down down to Kevin Feige, and I'm sure Kevin Feige already has a pretty good sense of direction of how he wants to do the X-Men in the MCU. Plus, right now, I'm sure he really can't say much to even the people that he is meeting with because he's obviously not going to hire every writer that he meets with, every possible writer, but he does need to hear ideas for the X-Men, and he does need to tell them a little bit about what he is planning for the X-Men, but the reason that that is quite hard is because, according to a new report, the X-Men film is going to come out after Avengers Secret Wars. It actually sounds like the X-Men film is going to be the very first film and the very start of Phase 7 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, this has huge implications, and of course, we're going to talk about them in this video, but first, let's talk about this report. It's coming from insider Daniel RPK, and he states, just to be clear, the plan is still to release this movie after Secret Wars and the two Avengers movies are expected to start filming before quarter four of 2025. So this all lines up pretty nicely. They're going to begin production on Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars before quarter four. So could be quarter two, could be quarter three. Also, of course, keep in mind that Avengers 5 comes out sometime before Avengers Secret Wars. So Avengers 5 could start in quarter one at the very beginning, January, February of 2025. 2025, and then Avengers Secret Wars could start filming in quarter three of 2025. Then at the very end of quarter four of 2025, they could start with the new X-Men film. That is what both Daniel RPK has said and Production Weekly has said. Production Weekly said at the end of 2025. And Daniel RPK's tweet slash report was in response to to the report from Production Weekly. So he was adding to the report, stating that, yes, this is true. He has heard this report as well, but offering us some clarification. It will be the last movie starting production of 2025 from Marvel Studios. So it is coming after Avengers Secret Wars, which again, since Avengers Secret Wars is the last film of the multiverse saga in Phase 6, it seems like the X-Men are going to be the first film of Phase 7, unless somehow they wanted to make the X-Men the last film of phase six, they technically kind of did that with Spider-Man. Some people think that Avengers Endgame was the last movie of phase three of the MCU. However, that is not the case. Spider-Man Far From Home is actually the last movie of phase three. However, this was kind of changed after the fact. It was originally planned to be the first film of phase four, but Marvel kind of retconned that and said it's actually the last film of phase three. So they could do that with the X-Men, but here is why I believe it's going to be the first film of phase seven. The reason I believe it'll be the first film is because we know that the multiverse and the MCU in its entirety are basically going to reboot after Avengers Secret Wars. We are going to have a new MCU after the events of Secret Wars. It's going to be, from what we know, pretty different, and I believe I know how exactly this is going to go down. We'll talk about that in just a bit, but first, big thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. If you want fresh, nutritious, and extremely great tasting food that you don't have to prepare yourself that can be ready to eat in just minutes, then Factor is perfect for you. 
Factor has been a complete game changer for me. They make eating healthy super easy no matter what your diet is, whether it's keto, vegetarian, vegan. If you want to eat protein focused meals, they have protein plus meals. These are chef crafted restaurant quality meals designed by dietitians. So every meal you get is packed with premium science backed nutritional quality. And Factor makes it so easy for you. It's no wonder why they're America's number one ready to eat meal delivery service with a full menu of over 35 weekly meals to choose from and 60 plus add-ons, including snacks, smoothies, and more. How it works is you literally just pick your meals, they arrive at your doorstep, and all you gotta do is heat them up, usually takes about two minutes, and they are ready to eat. It is that simple. And right now, you can get 50% off your first box of chef-prepared, ready-to-eat meals, plus two free wellness shots for life per box with an active subscription. Just go over to factormeals.com slash cosmicwonder. 50 and use code cosmic wonder 50 that's factor meals.com slash cosmic wonder 50 so if it's anything like the comics at the end of avengers secret wars the multiverse will be destroyed a lot of universes will have been destroyed because of incursions and because of kang and essentially the multiverse won't be able to truly be restored to exactly what it was before in the comics it is reed richards and his son franklin richards an omega level mutant as strong as a mutant as they come they restore the multiverse, but it's not exactly 100% the way it was before, and I believe it's going to be even more different in the MCU. And why is it that way, you might ask? Well, it's very, very specifically going to be done to bring in the X-Men to the MCU. This would answer a pretty big question that a lot of people have had recently about the X-Men and the MCU. Yes, mutants have been teased, like in Miss Marvel and Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but we haven't really seen any. Not in a typical X-Men fashion. So people have been wondering, have the X-Men been in the MCU the entire time? And if they have, where exactly have they been? And why hasn't any anybody notice them? Why hasn't Nick Fury noticed them? Why doesn't Doctor Strange know about them? Well, if the universe being kind of retconned at the end of Avengers Secret Wars is going to happen, that would explain a lot because then our new MCU existing after Secret Wars could consist of not only our old universe, the current MCU that we're in right now, that is going to essentially be destroyed thanks to incursions, but it will also consist of other universes that may have collided with our universe. And the only way for some of these universes to actually survive is to continue to coexist with other universes. You see in the comics when incursions happen, it's typically two Earths are right on top of each other and there's about eight hours when the other Earth pops up, eight hours until they collide with each other. And most of the time both universes completely die unless some people decide to blow up the other Earth. But in the MCU's case, we've actually seen that there can still be some survival after two universes collide with each other. I'm thinking something like that pretty similar might happen happen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Perhaps an X-Men universe could collide with our universe. Both universes remain mostly intact. A lot of people survive, and then after Secret Wars, when they're trying to restore the multiverse, they realize that they can't do a full restoration, but they can essentially fix our universe to where both universes can exist on the same plane and become one universe altogether. That would bring the X-Men and the Avengers and the Fantastic Four and all the other heroes together. This would also allow for Marvel Studios to bring back some old characters like Iron Man and Captain America and Black Widow with new actors. So not resurrecting the characters, not taking away from their deaths and sacrifices from our MCU, but simply bringing in new ones. We've heard Marvel Studios wants to do this. And the reason they want to do this is so we can actually see Iron Man, Captain America and Black Widow interact with the X-Men, interact with Professor X with Cyclops, with Wolverine, etc., which I think is something that we all would truly love to see. So the way I think it's going to go down is Avengers 5, the universe essentially collapses. The Avengers can't save their universe. They can't save the multiverse in general. So their universe and the multiverse collapses. Then in Avengers Secret Wars, they defeat Kang, they defeat the villains, and they try to restore the multiverse. They figure out that they can't exactly restore it to exactly what it was before, but they can basically restore it to something that is livable for everybody. That combines the X-Men universe with our universe and then the very next film that comes after Avengers Secret Wars will be the X-Men film and this will most likely be the first film of Phase 7 like I mentioned before and this is just 
really exciting to think about. But go ahead, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Would you be okay if this is the direction that Marvel Studios goes in? Would you be excited for the X-Men and the MCU if this is what they do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on the MCU. If you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, or some Marvel Legends items. We pick a winner at the end of each month, and they pick one item. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.